Happy Boss, everyone! Woo! What's up guys? I don't know why Erin put me after Arolfo. I think she wanted to show this is how good comedy looks like. <laughs> this is how what you should not do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a comic, it's just that I'm married, I have no one to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> Today my wife is here for the first time. Yeah. Uh, please give it up for her. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do this without her, you know. Like, um, I was looking for a place to complain. <laughs> and found, found this place with a microphone. Everybody's complaining about something. <laughs> That's how I discovered comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my wife, she's obviously, you know, she's the number one in the family. You know, we run a strict corporate hierarchy. My <laughs> <laughs> daughter's number two, the dog's number three, <laughs> and I'm number four. <laughs> One, two, and three live in the main part of the house. <laughs> I live in a little room in the backyard, which I call the branch office. <laughs> Number two, I thought that her job is like uh, to execute any instructions. Number one says like, she's like a you know hired hitman kind of. <laughs> So if I order something on Amazon, number two's job is to cancel it before the order. <laughs> so anyway, you know, I'm not a comic. I work in cybersecurity. Sometimes I do this in the evenings. You can say I do security in the daytime and insecurity in the nighttime. <laughs> Jacob. Yes. yes. You know, James is not really that sweet. <laughs> he wants you to have an accident and then call him. <laughs> so do I, you know. <laughs> Click on that link. Maybe you did win that million dollars. <laughs> what we've been telling Matteo, you can see Matteo there, the young man, uh, I mean, not young, but like very healthy, you know, but <laughs> Matteo, you know, he's a widower, he uh, lost his wife like 10, 12 years back, and I've been encouraging him to get married again, you know, Matteo's like, at this age, I'm not sure. You'll never know until you try what unhappiness looks like. <laughs> have you guys ever left a... Have you, been, have you ever tried to leave a voicemail and got annoyed by the instructions? <laughs>
so I have to forget all the menu options I remember until now. <laughs> Okay, so also like, how about those people um, who will always share stories with terms of dates? You know, in January of this year, I lost my job, and then in March I took this course, and then in June I found this another job. Like, come on, get on with the story. You know? <laughs> you're gonna quiz me later on. <laughs> Speaking of which. In March 2018, <laughs> I almost got demoted at work, and then in April, almost got deported, and in May, I lost the finals of a ping pong match. <laughs> Which one do you think hurt the most? <laughs> ping pong, right? I mean. We were almost getting deported and then um, a Buddhist leader kind of, I was like, I, I, you know, gave me some guidance. It's like, Sammy, you, if you want to not get deported, you have to change something in your life. And, nah, I mean, this is a good way to clear up the clutter, but you'll, you know, you got to do three things, he said. You got to stop holding grudges. I mean, we are all comics here. We can hold grudges. What else do we have in there? <laughs> I appreciate your environment, which I started appreciating. Thank you, Erin. Thank you, all of you. And uh, well, the third one was uh, respect yourself. Respecting myself was definitely the hardest. I'm a number four who lives in the backyard. <laughs> I know what goes on inside my head. Um, well, I mean, Aaron still hasn't shown the light, but I'll continue then. Um, you know, I'm not prepared for this. I'm, I'm never prepared for anything in life. I'm like, what if I prepare and then fail? I won't have an excuse. <laughs> I can never finish reading a book. <laughs> so I started reading it from the end. <laughs> I don't know why it all got started, but I know exactly how it ended. <laughs> <laughs> I read the blurb and this enough to talk about the book with other people. Becoming an angry old man very fast as well. Yeah. The other day I walked into Panda Express. And they're like, can you donate one dollar for starving children in Africa? <laughs> if I had that extra dollar, would I be coming to Panda Express? <laughs> 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 yeah, someone for Panda Express? Okay. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I love that orange chicken. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for listening. I'm a married man. And there's no happy ending. <laughs>